Hello and welcome to another Fantasy Football Tournament Series number 53. This is the Himalayan Cup and this is the fourth installment in my series of a fantasy football tournament that is centered around countries that share a major mountain range. You saw in previous videos I made for the Andes Cups, which was in South America, the Caucasus Mountain Cups uh, in, in extreme Eastern Europe, uh, Eurasia, and the Alps Cup, which, as we all know, the famous mountain region in Western Europe. And this, we're going to Asia here, guys. We're going to South Central Asia. So pack your bags and, uh, yeah, get ready. The Himalayas is home to one of the most known mountain ranges in the world and the, and the highest point on Earth, Mount Everest. Uh, and it, it includes countries like Nepal. India, China, Afghanistan, Pakistan. It stretches all the way from China to uh, Pakistan. And there are seven countries that are participating in this tournament. So an odd number. Therefore, the first round, a preliminary round, will be a two-legged playoff between the two lowest-ranked countries to determine who qualifies for the main tournament. Himalayas, we, you know, associate with... Um, History, a lot having to do with northern and central Asian religions like Buddhism and you know temples and monks and all that, but also it extends into the Islamic countries of, of Afghanistan and Pakistan as well. Um, so let's jump right into the participants. In the preliminary round, you see here the flags of Tibet and Pakistan. Now, Tibet is not a FIFA member, nor are they even an, a member of the AFC. But they do have a national team. There are many national teams in the world uh, that are not recognized by FIFA or their local confederation. But I do have a few of them in my, in my flags collection. But I wanted to include Tibet in this tournament because they are such a crucial region that the Himalayas do run through. Think of Tibet, think of uh, the Dalai Lama. For example, it's a province in western China that China very much considers uh, part of its own um, makeup. They don't recognize Tibetan um, movements for independence and the like. So that's a little bit of politics there. But if I'm going to include a, a cup about the Himalayan mountains, I have to include Tibet because the entire region is pretty much in the Himalayan mountain re uh, region. <laughs> so... I included them here, and they have a nice, neat, little, distinctive, unique flag. And uh, let's jump right into this tournament. So, Tibet at home in the first leg against Pakistan. I'm going with a 1-1 draw. I said before previously, Pakistan is the worst team in Asia. They're also the worst ranked team in Asia right now, currently, in the FIFA rankings as well. I, I agree with that. But in the return leg, do have Pakistan victorious 1-0. So Pakistan on aggregate score 2-1 to one, qualifies for the main tournament and Tibet is out. So let's go to the main tournament. We have here six countries similar format to the last few videos. Two groups of three. Two teams from each advance, so semifinals, third place, final. Thank you very much. So let's jump right in. Who are the participants of the Himalayan Cup? So there's no host nation. But in Group A, we have India, Afghanistan, and Bhutan. And in Group B, we have China, Pakistan, who qualified through the playoffs, and Nepal. Yes, you're looking at this correctly. Nepal is actually the only country in the world who has a flag that is not a square or a rectangle. They, it's a, I don't know what you call that, but that is the shape of Nepal's flag. Very distinctive. Um, I actually had to make it just the other day to add it to my collection. So let's jump right into this tournament. Keep in mind, guys, this is a tournament of relatively very, very poor national teams. The first match between India and Afghanistan, gone with a win for India. 
between Afghanistan and uh, Bhutan, gone with uh, Afghanistan to win at home. In a match between Bhutan and India, gone with a victory for India on the road. And the return leg, it would be would be pretty much the same, guys. A victory for India. Then Bhutan versus Afghanistan. I'm going with the victory on the road for Afghanistan. Afghanistan versus India. Gone for a draw. So that means India wins the group with 10 points from three wins and one draw and zero losses. Afghanistan in second with seven points with two wins, one draw and one loss. Bhutan in dead last with zero points with uh, zero wins and four losses. And Bhutan would be out. Moving on to group B. China versus Pakistan, a victory at home for China. Pakistan and Nepal have gone with a draw at home for Pakistan. Nepal versus China, a victory for China. In the return leg, it's another victory for China. Then Nepal versus Pakistan. Gone the victory for Nepal. And then Pakistan and China. Gone for a victory for China. So China gets a perfect four wins from four. 12 points. And topping the group. Nepal comes in second with four points from... One win, one draw, and two losses. Pakistan comes to dead last with one point from one draw and three losses. So let's go on to the semifinals. So the semifinals, India versus Nepal and China versus Afghanistan. Let's say the first leg, India defeats Nepal. And the second leg, Second leg, I'm going to say a draw. I think Nepal will go out with some dignity, and uh, India will advance to the final. Um, aggregate score, I would say, say four to two on aggregate for India. They win the first leg three to one, and they tie one one in, uh, in Kathmandu. But India goes to the final. Then China versus Afghanistan. Would say a 2 0 victory for China at home. And then a surprise win for Afghanistan, who win 2 to 1 at home over China, but it's not enough. It's not enough because 3 to 2 on aggregate, China goes through. But China do get a wake up call, so to speak. Third place between the third place playoff between Nepal and Afghanistan gone with a a, a two nil victory for, on the road for Afghanistan. And then a four one victory at home for Afghanistan over Nepal. They win the bronze medal six one on aggregate. Nepal finishes in fourth in the Himalayan Cup. Afghanistan finishes in third, which brings us to our final between India and China. To be honest, India have made a lot of improvements in recent years, but they should still be outmatched here, I think, in, in quality. Um, there's still a ways to go for India. I mean, there's still a way to go for China as well, but China is still ahead of India in um, soccer development. Uh, and I think China would actually win both legs here. Um, 
China wins the first leg away from home. I say uh, a respectable two to one victory for China. And then the return leg, China wins 2 0. So on aggregate score, 4 to 1, China wins the Himalayan Cup. Champions of the Himalayan mountain range is China, ladies and gentlemen. China in first, India second, Afghanistan third, Nepal fourth, and China have qualified for the Mountain Unity Cup. The three champions of the previous tournaments, France, uh, Armenia, and Colombia, China will play them in the champion of champions of the mountain regions of the world. So that will be a tournament in the future, my fantasy football series. Until then, have a good one, guys. Much love. Hopefully I see you tomorrow, God willing. Peace.